say is that it, it is primarily down to Omicron uh, that is spreading more rapidly, probably not because it's intrinsically more infectious, but because uh, it's be able to get around people's immunity, whether that's from uh, previous infections or from vaccines, and that's why we're seeing the, the large numbers of cases. Uh, Wide-scale testing policies haven't changed much in the last few weeks, so that by itself couldn't actually explain the change. It, it might make some countries appear worse than others when they may not be, but overall, I think we can be fairly certain that these increases do reflect very real increases in infection numbers. <laughs> There's two t uh, the, you know, the pro pro process of uh, COVID infections is that it generally starts off as a fairly mild infection of the nose and throat, and uh, and then in people who develop more severe diseases, it generally spreads to the lungs as, uh, initially. Now the protection of immunity to severe disease lasts a lot longer than the immunity to the infections of the nose and throat, and you know we see this with colds and and influenza that um, and many other uh, infections of that nature that you can get reinfected uh, even after a few months, either by the same variant or indeed by a different variant. And I think one of the big things with Omicron is as well as it's it, being spreading more rapidly than, than Delta is that it's much more likely to reinfect people who had a previous infection than Delta is. So, yeah, it is um, it is certainly the case that you can have multiple infections with, uh, with um, uh, COVID, uh, even from the same variant, but more especially if it's a different variant. And I think in South Africa, there's one patient who's actually had four separate COVID infections over the last 18 months. And, and I think the first thing is, is that actually a reinfection is very rarely as severe as the first infection. Um, and if you get COVID and then two, two or three months later catch it again, you're probably about 90% less likely to end up in hospital than you were on your first infection. And this is, this is what is uh, what's been expected, really? Um, the infections that other coronavirus infections that have been with us for decades, centuries even, they tend to infect us typically about once every three to six years. And I think that's ultimately what we will see with uh, COVID. I, it will be reinfecting us very frequently, but it won't be causing the same level of severity of disease that we've seen and ultimately it'll be just another cause of the common cold and we can already see that happening in london uh the um professor um, uh, tim Spector from the who's been running a very valuable uh, app to monitor people's symptoms have said actually a lot of the cases that we're seeing now in London are really indistinguishable from the common cold and th ultimately that's the way it's all going to go so we won't be worrying about it in a few years because it's just another one of the causes of the common cold and the most important value of vaccines is basically ensuring that our first coronavirus infection is not as severe as it would otherwise have been, that it, we won't need to go into hospital and, and ultimately that we'll survive the infection. And that it has done very well, providing, of course, you're fortunate to live in a country that has got access to vaccines. And you're quite right, there has been a large number of the world's population that are still waiting for their first uh, injections. And in terms of Omicron, one of the things that the World Health Organization has been calling for some months is vaccine equity. And one of the concerns about a very inequitable vaccine distribution is that that would ultimately lead to more likelihood of generating variants like Omicron. And I don't think it's any um, surprise that Omicron developed, not sure what South Africa, Botswana, but certainly in Southern Africa, um, in Sub-Saharan Africa, and uh, which has very little access to vaccines so other than South Africa itself. So yeah, if mm -hmm. we'd be more 
um, equitable in the use of vaccines right from the beginning. Possibly we might have been able to avoid having Omicron at this time of year. But yeah. of course, nobody yeah. can prove that.